Before we get to today's video, check your eye level a little bit. Do you see a fish on the screen? If you haven't seen it yet, let's get a little closer. Maybe some of you have discovered it through your eyes at the bottom of the ocean. But what does this fish really look like? Very few will know. Its size seems to be very large, about under a meter. In addition to its strange appearance and behavior, it also has great culinary characteristics. It's an incredibly tasty, eaten fish. Whether it's carried or wrapped, it's even very popular in the Japanese food industry. They're known as anglerfish, often living in deep waters or coral reefs. Deep sea animals are also nicknamed deep sea devils. Not only is it extremely scary in appearance, but its behavior is enough to shock people. Meanwhile, coral reef fishing is completely different. A cute animal that most people love. This hidden fish now looks like a ghost, but it's tasty. It's our main character today. The anglerfish, in English called the angler, has about 18 families, 66 genera, and more than 300 species on the land. Their appearance is very different, and their habits have no similarities. First, we'll divide the cannabis into three types to make it easier to distinguish. The first type is the most typical. This is also the species that was used to test your eye level at the very beginning of the video. It's called a pipa. This name comes from its shape. Usually the pipa hides in the mud and sand of the seabed. The whole body becomes wide and flat, and its brain is extremely large. From the top down, it's no different than traditional instruments. That's why it's called a pipa. It's hard to talk about the appearance of this fish because you may never have seen such an ugly fish. The wide face and the flat head are weird enough, plus the big mouth almost as big as the head, with its sharp teeth, is even more weird. In Japanese, the name of this fish also means surprise and open mouth. This is probably one of its obvious points. The second, needle species, lives in water depths of 1,000 to 3,000 meters. When it comes to appearance, one ugly word is not enough. It's considered the worst fish in the ocean a big mouth full of sharp teeth that scared everyone who saw it. Especially, there's a lamp hanging on the head, so it's called the lantern fish cage. This is the prototype of the lighthouse fish and the electric light monster in Pokemon. Note that you shouldn't be confused with lighthouse fish in the biological classification. These are two completely different types. The habit of the lighthouse fish is not like that of the pipa fish which is to hide in the sand. Instead, it swims in the water, so its body doesn't have to be flat. At least we see it more like a fish. Finally, the fish need to live in more shallow places like coral reefs and marine forests. We'll find out more about this species in another video. Pipa fish are very well covered in mud and sand. They live on the continental shelf beneath the seabed from shallow waters to waters from 20 mamaters to 1,000 nomer deep. Despite that, most of the time it's lying in disguise and carrying out sloppy attacks. For a better disguise, even the color and texture of its body are exactly like the seabed. There's even some ornaments like seaweed or sediment growing on its back that make the perfect invisible effect. After the disguise, it could have started hunting. They're betting this has a symbolic body that's fishing, which means it's going to hunt with the same shrimp that grows on its head from this back. The top of the cane is like a worm, often shaking over when there's nothing to do. You see, it's really like a worm swimming in the water. For those who love Luya fishing, this is the same principal powder. Potential prey will be attracted to this fake worm. As soon as they get close, they'll be swallowed by a big mouth not even seeing what the worm looks like. This is the moment that little fish never expected, and why even the seabed can now open their mouths and eat them. It's really terrible. The pipa is ugly, but if we observe it for a while, we can all accept it. 
but its relative in the deep waters would probably be more difficult, not only in appearance but also in the dignity of a male fish. Unlike pipa fish, lantern fish have big mouths and many big teeth, some with small and long teeth. So in English, it's called sea devils, which means sea devils. Because these teeth aren't suitable for biting or chewing, is it necessary? Of course, yes, this is probably related to its prey. Its basic nutrient is ink, and it has a very smooth body that can slip. So these teeth have the task of holding the ink tight and putting it in the mouth. The sharp teeth are on the inside. The ink can only go in. There's no escape. Scientists have also discovered that the belly elasticity of this shrimp is good, and it can burst out very strongly, just like its close relative, the roof fish. But the roof fish are for intimidation, and the fishing fish are for food. You know the deep sea is a very scarce source of food, so it's going to have to eat as much as it can, which is why it always looks so hungry. Another characteristic of the deep sea bed is that the light is very weak. You can't even see your five fingers. So what does this fish need to do to catch its prey? If you look closely, you'll see on the head of the anglerfish that it seems to shine. This is a bacterium that is allowed to live on it. In this way, the prey can be more visible, no different from the glowing prey that we humans use for night fishing. This is a very intelligent species. In the cartoon Find Nemo, there's a video like this. Marlin and Dory were on their way to find their brother, who had been attracted to a very attractive light. But as soon as they approached, they were crazy chased and almost swallowed by the fish. But in reality, the anglerfish doesn't do this. To save as much energy as possible, it doesn't even want to swim. It just floats in the water. Scientists have observed and statistically estimated that about 74% of the fish have not been moving for a long time. So all the food is based on that glowing prey, Basidis. There's a mystery that has been troubling scientists for years. They only found females without males. What happened? Over the years of research, scientists have found the answer. This will surely shock us all. It is incorrect to say that anglerfish are not male. They're just too small compared to the females. A female can grow up to 1.2 meters long while a male can only grow to 16 centimeters, which is really too big. Another feature is that the female needs a glowing head with sharp teeth to hunt for prey. It sleeps and grows every day. But the male fish is not like that. It has no need for fishing, no good teeth, and not even a complete digestive system. That means he's even having trouble eating. Of course, it only exists in one way. The smell of the male fish is very developed, making it easy to find a female, while the female actively emits the smell for the male to find it. When we get closer together, the excitement begins. The male will bite the female, usually near the abdomen. There's also a back and even a head. Whichever position it is, the male will never let go of it for the rest of his life. The females not only did not object to this action, but also created a small spot for the males to bite and bite more tightly. After a bite, the male fish secretes an enzyme that dissolves its mouth and the skin of the female, which causes the two individuals to gradually merge together. This is no different from grafting a fruit tree. The blood vessels of the male fish are actually connected to the blood vessels of the female fish, merging the circulatory systems of the two fish into one. Now it's the equivalent of a male parasite, fed by the blood of the female. All of its organs are degraded. Only the testicles are left responsible for providing sperm. It's basically just a female organ right now. Of course, there will be cases where several males find the same female. So far, the most observed cases are eight males and one parasite on a female. It'll be harder to raise but at least it won't have to worry about laying eggs and fertilizing. For the culinary industry, anglerfish plays an important role. Despite that, the market for this fish is not large. The reason is simple. They're animals that buried themselves in the seabed and were very hard to catch. 
Nowadays, although the diving industry is very advanced, you still have to have great observation skills to be able to detect them. So, in general, the fish stocks are still pretty safe. With the finished fish, the liver is the most delicious part. It's like the sea goose, especially fat and nutritious. Usually, fish caught in winter from December to February will have the largest size of liver and the highest fat content. In addition to the liver, meat, skin, stomach, eggs, bearings, and wrappings are all edible, of which meat is the most edible and always the last choice to eat. This is also considered a unique feature of anglerfish. There are a lot of ways to make cranberry fish, like shrimp, sashimi, salad, fried or baked, all great. If you have a chance to enjoy it, don't forget to come back and share it with us. And now, goodbye and see you again. Thank you for watching.